Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next module of the program. So in today's module, we're going to go over incorporating your business. So for those that are in the United States, I highly recommend the first thing you do is to incorporate your business in the state that you are from. So for example, I'm from New York, so I incorporated my business inside New York. And so if you're not from the United States, you could choose places like Delaware or Wyoming. That would be the next best option if you are outside the United States. And for tax purposes, if you are in the United States, you could incorporate Wyoming or Delaware with no state taxes. And again, this is not legal advice. This is purely from my speculations and just want to share with you guys. This is how it works. This is where you guys incorporate your LLC. And then in terms of some of the basic legal terms that you should be aware of, because I didn't really understand this when I first came in, was the difference between an LLC and a corporation. Now, again, I am not an accountant. I'm not any legal expert, so I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But I do know that an LLC is going to be your management structure of your business and then a corporation is more of a formal management structure. So inside the LLC, you have your LLC, right? So you can have an LLC or you can have a corporation. If you go into the corporation, there's C Corp and S Corp. I recommend S Corp. That's what I did. However, I'll recommend you just build an LLC because what you're needing for this, like what the point of all of this is for you to build your legal entity. So basically you'll have like your identification number and that's known as EIN, which will go later down the module, but that is your identification number when you are working with suppliers so that you could become a authorized dealer for them, AKA like a dropshipper for the suppliers. So the point is you just want to have a good legal entity. You want to have a legal business. And so you just want to set up your LLC and I highly recommend setting it up using legal zoom. You can use legal zoom to set up your LLC or you get a accountant for that as well. So legal zoom, it will cost about a hundred to $200 and it will take you about two weeks to actually incorporate it or you can speed it up. You have, you know, you have to pay a little bit more for that or you just hire an accountant, you'll just pay them a little bit more, but you know that they're doing it right. Regardless, you need to get your LLC set up so you could get your EIN. Your EIN, again, is your identification number for suppliers, which basically is your digit to represent your business. You see, every single business has their identification number. It's what the state, the country, the government, uses to recognize your business. And so when you are applying to dropship programs, when you are applying to become an authorized dealer, to become a reseller for suppliers, they will ask you for your EIN. They will ask you for your EIN, which is your employee identification number and your resale certificate, both of which will require your LLC. So that is why we set up the LLC in the first place so that you could get your EIN. And once you have that, you are pretty much ready to get started because from that point forward, you just have to network and find suppliers to work with. You're going to put their products onto your website. You're going to run the ads the way we tell you to, and then you're going to go and kill it. So point is get your EIN. That's probably the most important thing and make sure you do this with speed. Like I said in the past, and you just incorporate your business, get your EIN. This should take no longer than two weeks. If you get an accountant, if you want to speed rush it, you can probably get it in less than one week. And so once you have that, you are ready to go with finding suppliers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next module of the program. So today's module, we're going to go and talk about the resale certificate. So just like I said in the previous module, what an EIN is, your resale certificate is required to submit to suppliers or else they may or may not let you resell their products. Your resale certificate is literally like its name. It's a certificate for you to resell. But in order for you to resell, that's why you need the LLC and the EIN so that you could put your information. And this is how it looks like from New York. I just gave you a quick screenshot of how it looks like on my end. You just put, you know, your name, which is your LLC name, the address that it's located in, the full address over here. And then that's the name of purchaser. That is where you put the supplier name. I'm a ass. I meant to flip it. So name of seller is a manufacturer and name of purchaser would, would be us. So put your information on the right side and put your supplier's information on the left side. And then you just fill in the necessary information on the bottom. Pretty much just enter EIN, do a signature with the date and you should be good to go. And then you submit this in a PDF format to your suppliers if they ask you or you just give it to them. So, that, you know, you just they know you're legit. And then you have your EIN, you have your resale certificate, you're ready to find suppliers for your high ticket e-commerce store. Let's keep going with the modules. I know it's freaking not the most fun, but it is necessary because we're building real businesses. And with that being said, let me know if you guys have any questions. 
That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next module of the program. And today's module, we're going to go and talk about the business banking as well as your business credit card. And so again, I am not an accountant. This is not legal advice. This is simply what me and Trevor has done in the past. This is what we recommend to our students. And this is what we're going to share with you when it comes to the business banking for accounting purposes. We recommend Bank of America or Chase. I use Chase for my business banking. I have a business checking account. Make sure you have a business checking account and not a business savings account. And in addition, just make sure that you're aware that when you do have a business banking account, you're going to have to keep a certain amount of money inside or else you're going to charge you fees. I believe you need to have at least $1,500 or else there will be some monthly fees coming out. So just be very careful of that. You can also use other banking recommendations that we have over here, which is Novo Bank and Wise. And so other than that, in terms of the credit cards that we recommend, we have a few. And so the first one is going to be the American Express Business Go Card. I recommend it. I use it for pretty much all of my businesses for ad spend. You could use the Capital One Business Spark for any of the cost of goods sold or any of the non ad spend expenses. And you could see all of the points that it gives you 4x points for the Amex Gold, 2x points for the Capital One, 295 annual fee for Amex Gold, 500 annual bonus. If you use our affiliate link with the Capital One, these are the two credit cards that I highly recommend to get. You can either go with Bank of America or Chase and then go with the Amex or the Capital One. And then if you do get rejected or any of these don't work out, you can also go into the optional one, which is a Chase Business Inc. Preferred. I've also used that when I first started off. They have pretty good killer points when it comes to the ad spend. And so how these points work, guys, how these credit card works is when you spend one dollar on advertisement, it will literally say if you spend one dollar, you'll get four extra points. And that's what Amex Gold is for. When you spend money, you'll actually get points back. And so I believe the numbers which is very realistic, by the way, if you guys do one hundred thousand dollars a month in expenses, and that's very realistic again, because if you do a six figure a month, you're going to have some expenses come in as well and you'll be able to get monthly cash back. And so I have gotten cash backs pretty much every single month for almost two thousand dollars. And so that two grand, honestly, is amazing because they're all cash back or I could convert it into travel points. And it's just, you know, additional cash flow, another stream of income that's just money left on the table, right? Like you're going to spend the money on costs of goods sold. Anyway, you're going to spend the money on the ads. You might as well use these credit cards to give you better points, better results, and just helps with the business overall. So these are the credit cards that we recommend. Again, Capital One Business Spark, Chase Business Inc., and the American Express Gold or Plum. And so with that being said, guys, this is pretty much it when it comes to the LLC and the store formation. You just create an LLC, get your EIN, set up your resale certificates by filling in the information, find your business banking account and apply with your business credit cards. And now you have the full setup ready. And if you're watching this, if you haven't done any of that or you're not there yet, make sure you rewatch through this to get there. And if you are ready or you think you're ready for the next step, the next part of the program is going to be our Shopify store setup. And I'm super excited to finally go into some nitty gritties and show you some of the technicalities with Shopify, with e-commerce. I'm about to show you the f***ing sauce. So I'm super excited for you guys to be here. Thank you all so much for your time if you are watching this. And with that being said, to the next one.